America's only two-time Olympic gold medalist, Clarissa Shields, is already getting a title shot. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button, also subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest. Thank you to all the people who have donated to the channel. Some people have joined the Patreon. We working, man. A lot going on. Now, I had to cover this. Shout out to Clarissa Shields, two-time Olympic boxing gold medalist. The only person from America. I said this in a previous video, someone tried to correct me. I'm talking about there's other people like Vasil Lomachenko and Cuban stars like Guillermo Rigondeau and Robese, the one that beat Shakur Stevenson. There's other people who have two gold medals. They have two peated. But I am talking about Americans. Clarissa Shield is the only American, male or female, that has two peated and went and won Olympics in back to back Olympics, which happen every four years, right? So, tremendous achievement. You know what I mean? And it looks like she's going to be fighting for a title. She's fighting against a girl, Nikki Adler, who has an undefeated record, more fights than her, more pro fights than her. She has a record of 16 and 0 with nine knockouts. This is her third title defense. She's Croatian based out of Germany. So that's her second home or whatnot. And it's going to be on Showtime main event. I think this is good. Clarissa Shields says it is a dream come true for me to be fighting for a major world title and just my fourth professional fight. I thank the champ and her team for accepting the challenge and for coming to the United States for this championship. This fight is not only a milestone for me. It is also the biggest fight of the year in women's boxing. I promise to be in the best shape of my life and to give all my fans a performance to remember, right? And Adler's also happy with the opportunity. She says, it's a huge opportunity. I am, a, I am the multiple time world champion and Clarissa is a two time Olympic gold medalist. Why not fight in the biggest matchup possible? This is a great challenge. We both will show our true potential. So I gotta, I gotta spread the love, man. The, the men's league, if you wanna call it that, get all, all the love and all the attention, but the women, they glove up, they lace up, they train, and we gotta give them some shine. I've interviewed Clarissa Shields, real cool, real down to earth, very candid and very honest. You can see that she's confident in her ability. And I don't understand why people get mad when fighters are confident, you know what I mean? You're supposed to be, if you're, like, it's just like the rap game. And I know this for a fact, because I used to do music. But can you picture, name a rapper who's been grossly successful that has low self-esteem or no confidence not in life but when they spit when they're their they're punchlines like you know what i mean rappers think of witty metaphors and i'm the sickest i'm the illest and woom -de -woom, right you don't really hear that because that wouldn't sell who wants to turn on a record and get depressed and and feel shitty about themselves and low self-esteem you know what i mean that's why rappers talk about bitches and how much jewelry and the cars they got and different stuff like that you know what i mean fight game is very synonymous with with hip-hop that's why you see like tyson walking out with tupac you know what i mean even before he got shot but things like that you see people who are kind of like i seen chris brown with the charlo brothers and stuff and chris brown has a clothing company and he he sponsors or they're somehow affiliated i see his logo the black pyramid or whatever on the charlo brothers trunk stuff like that you see that e40 i just interviewed him shout out, Ooh, i've been about my cash ever since i was a little young Ooh. you know what i mean he i just interviewed him at the war coverlet fight he came out one time for the bay area all right it was in vegas so it's it's pretty synonymous and you know what i mean i i don't fault clarissa shields for or any fighter for being confident you know what i mean i could say if they say if they step over boundaries and they're super disrespectful or something then i would state my opinion on that but i mean people get mad when why why are they so confident maybe because you lack confidence or whatever or you don't have that much faith but ultimately 
that's what you're supposed to think. Like, even even with this YouTube shit, am I supposed to be like, oh, they're, they're, this channel is way better than me? No, you're supposed to be. I'm like, I got the best content. I have the best delivery. I got the best channel. You know what I'm saying? You, you're not supposed to bow down to anybody. Uh, that's just how I am. Maybe that's just... And, and part of it's your work ethic. Confidence only comes when you put the work in, usually. And it'll be short-lived confidence if you ain't putting in the work. So... Um, shout out to Clarissa Shields. She's accomplished something that no male or female has done. So I'm glad Showtime is giving her this love. She's fighting at the MGM Grand in Detroit. She's from Flint. It makes the most sense. Um, even though, and, and I respect the champion too. I don't know much about her, Adler, but she has a solid resume. See, I don't get on here in these videos and, and start bumping my gums. And if I have to do research on someone, I'll tell you guys, I have no problem in doing that. I don't be like, I'm not like, oh yeah, Adler. I know everything about Nikki Adler, Nikki Adler. I don't do that. I don't know everything about her. I know I've heard of her name before. She's undefeated and I'm giving you guys the facts, but I will do my research before the fight and I'm looking forward to it. Shout out to Showtime, not only for putting on compelling competitive matchups and matchups throughout the year on their regular network. Showtime is slaughtering HBO, slaughtering. And don't get me wrong, HBO has some good fights like Joe Smith Jr., Sullivan Barrera. That's a good card on regular HBO. You also have Takashi Mura. He's fighting against Miguel Berchelt. But majority of their fights have been on pay-per-view. Canelo Golovkin, Warwick Kovalev, Canelo Chavez, which turned out to be a bust. Showtime is delivering us all these fights, some on Friday, some on Saturday, some more impactful like Kell Brook, Errol Spence. But they're across the board you're getting fights broner garcia with the stack card a heavyweight fight on that gerald washington gerald big baby miller jamal charlo versus the number one mandatory with the wbc jorge sebastian highland now you got clarissa shields who's been they've been putting her on showtime in the main event this is the second time the first time when she fought her last fight i believe it was her last fight and main evented she was the first female that's how far back you don't really think about it until you you put it in perspective but like the olympics females couldn't always compete you know what i mean their their program is is clearly further back than than the the men's program you know what i mean like clarissa shields just i think it was this year the last time she fought she was the first female to headline the main event a uh, premium network boxing card that's crazy it seems like out of all you know what i mean Layla lee or somebody none of them main evented so, shout out to the females, bringing it back. I already told you I made a video about Clarissa Shields fighting Chris Cyborg. Great move. I mean, why not learn? First of all, I know female boxers. I'm not going to say any names, but I've interviewed and I've talked to different people. And trying to get work from females is a challenge. The talent pool is totally different. And for lack of better words, there's top quality women like Clarissa Shields and others, and them trying to find quality sparring is far and few in between because there's other people that might be even in their division, but some people might be scary and, and not really want to get that work. You know what I mean? It's different. When the talent pools are different, nobody's trying to spar and get destroyed or whatever. Some people, if you're lucky enough, even if they know they're going to be outmatched, some people are just game and they'll do it anyway. But I know firsthand from talking to different female boxers that the talent pool and trying to fight other top level females is is harder than men you know what i mean like let's say andre ward he's a quality fighter but he can find a plethora of different guys who will want to spar him at different levels because they want that experience you know what i'm saying but it's a little bit different with, with the females but I like that move to, to fight with Chris Cyborg. Clearly, she has power. I thought Clarissa Shields was getting the best of the sparring, but it's a learning experience for both of them. Someone who's, you know what I mean? And it's the perfect time with this Mayweather, Conor McGregor situation. Get that exposure. People were talking about it. I made a video about it. I'm sure a lot of other people made videos about it. Those are the kind of the, the small steps that will create milestones for female boxing just to overall give them more exposure that's why i'm doing this video because i'm not a hater you know what i mean there's enough room we talk about the men fighters all the time there's enough room for everybody to eat you know what i mean if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing so shout out to all the females that that grind and truth be told i mean i don't know about i don't 
there's certain female fighters that I know on a on a closer level, but in life in general, I know a lot of females that grind way harder than dudes. Let's especially in this Bay Area where I'm at. Um, I know guys that want to be rappers, but they don't handle their stuff. They don't keep a job because every to get to the next level. And I'm not trying to get too preachy. I'll just try to keep this short. But to get to where you want to be in the next level, you got to be focused on the right things. You have to prioritize. You have to set and hold yourself accountable with the goals you make and stuff. And I know females who are single parents, their deadbeat dad doesn't contribute anything to their child. They have a, let's say they have a child together. The dad's a deadbeat. He don't see the child. He doesn't babysit. And they still manage to work a job and put themselves to nursing school or something and graduate and all this stuff. Meanwhile, there's some guys that are, that are want to be rappers or whatever, and they're not really even doing nothing with it. They're not really trying to link up and network with A&Rs, making trips to LA, trying to go to Santa Monica. You know what I mean? They're not really doing those things. So shout out to all the strong, win, the strong women out there, the independent women, and also the female fighters. I think this should be a good fight. This, this Adler chick clearly has more fights than Clarissa, 16 and 0. And the other thing I gotta just real quick address, there's, I posted this on Instagram, and I've seen other people on my Instagram who are posting about this fight. And people are mad because the WBC is giving her this opportunity with only four, four fights in. They're like, oh, how does she, how this is unfair. Like Clarissa Shields is one of the biggest names out of all the females because of her previous amateur accomplishments, no different than Vasil Lomachenko and what Rigandau did. So of course you're gonna, she earned that. You know what I'm saying? She earned it based on being a standout female in the amateurs. Now the amateur doesn't suggest how well you could do as a pro, but the buzz was already there. I talked to Andre Durrell, the interview is on my channel. I interviewed him. I said, tell me about Clarissa Shields. Obviously they're both from Flint. They're both from um, the Midwest or whatever, but it was he was just like, man, she's talented. Da, da, da. I talked to Joey D. Spencer. Check out my dude, Joey Spencer. He said he's seen her. And just like I was saying, we're trying to get good sparring work. He sparred with her. My dude, Leon Love, his son, sparred with her. So she has to spar with men sometimes because she can't get no good work with females, just depending on where she's at. I don't know. Maybe the Midwest is cool. And then you come to Cali, you might not be able to find no chicks that are trying to glove up in your weight class and, and romp with you. You know what I mean? And kick up dust. So people, people, it's like people look for something to be mad at. The women's division is not all the way popping where it needs to be. And y'all mad because they're putting together a fight with two undefeated fighters. Mad because one person's getting a title shot in, the, in, in their fourth fight. Fucking Vasil Lomachenko, he had a title shot in his second fight based on pretty much what he did in the amateurs. And I didn't hear one person crying, but now all of a sudden people upset because she had three fights only and in her fourth fight it's a title shot. Y'all sound crazy, man. You know what I mean? If she feels she's ready for it and this is the one of the biggest fights that'll give some exposure and it can help make her kind of a, a Ronda Rousey type star in her respective sport in boxing, then so be it. So keep your head up, Clarissa Shields, keep doing your thing. And some of y'all, just like I said, y'all just look for stuff to complain about and bitch about and be angry about. Ooh, why does she get a title shot in the fort? Where's your title shot? What do you do for a living? You know what I'm saying? I, I'm about sick of some of you dudes on the on the internet in the comment section. I always have something to gripe about. What? But why does she get a title shot? Like, when's the last time you got a promotion? You know what I'm saying? Focus on you. Anyway, that's my little rant. Rant over. I'll be watching this fight. Let me know your thoughts. Undefeated versus undefeated. It's a title shot. It's early, but I mean, she feels ready. She's hungry. I, like I said, I interviewed her. She was oozing with confidence. So if she feels she's ready in the fourth fight and her team feels she's ready, she might win this thing. And then that's just gonna add to the, the Clarissa Shields myth. You know what I mean? The urban legend or whatever you wanna call it. If she beats someone who has 16 fights and nine knockouts, undefeated with title defenses and see this is not like triple g versus david lemieux which i which i said it was an okay fight but the fight itself didn't really deliver because david lemieux doesn't have the experience you notice after he lost to triple g 
he almost had some better wins. Now, if he had won, beat Hassan Indom, and this is where experience plays a part. If he had beat Hassan Indom and then fought everyone he's fought after Golovkin, knocked out, um, what's his name, Glenn Tapia, and then fought against Curtis Stevens and knocked him out, and then fought Marcos Reyes and bloodied him up and nearly knocked him out. And then, after those three title defenses, then fought again. And actually, he had another fight. Uh, against Christian Fabian Rios, right? So that's four fights he's had since Golovkin. Had he had those four fights and then fought Golovkin, maybe he could have done better instead of losing every round because he would. that experience plays a part. So you got to give it up. Clarissa Shield only has four fights, but based on her amateur experience and, and where her head's at, she feels ready for it. Another girl has 16 fights and shout out to her for coming to the States to do it. This is just like the reverse of what Errol Spence did. You know what I mean? He could be like, oh, I'm the challenger. I mean, he could have tried to push for the fight to be in the U.S. or whatever, but he went overseas, took Kell Brook's belt. And now you have a, a, a German champion. Actually, that's a bad example because that's the opposite of what I'm trying to say. It's like what Amir Khan did with Lamont Peterson. He was a champion and he fought in the backyard of Lamont Peterson, right? And that's what um, Adler is doing. She's coming to Clarissa Shields' stomping ground to defend her title. So salute to both females you know what i mean let me know what you guys think drop it in the comment section make sure you share the video like the video as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is ego signing off and the addition of clarissa um shields I, i'm excited you, about yeah that. talk yeah. about that she calls you her idol i i mean first i'm honored uh for her to say that and you know i just admire obviously her story and what she's come from but she's amazing in the ring you know she's the real deal and you know, I watch her, I pick up things from her, and uh, I mean, for her to have two gold medals is is, is, is amazing. And, and now for her to get the opportunity to fight her pro debut on HBO, which I was fortunate enough to do, uh, is a beautiful, beautiful thing. I think it's a perfect, perfect situation for herself as well as for women's boxing. Because I don't think women's boxing gets really any type of attention, you know. Um, those that know certain women and certain fighters, they'll support and do, do the best they can to get their name out there. But, you know, as a whole, I think we could do a better job because they do play a part. You know, they come in here, we have women come in our gym. They work just as hard as we do. They take the same risk we take. Um, they just don't get the notoriety or, 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 you know, sponsorships or, you know, the money that we get, and it's unfortunate. Oh, yeah. Sometimes women's boxing doesn't get the proper credit. You tell us about Clarissa Shields. What can we expect from her? Listen, if you don't know about this woman, if you're watching the fights on the 20th tomorrow, then you will know about Clarissa Shields. This girl is a woman. Is a woman outside of the ring, but she's a man in every aspect of the sport when it comes to inside. Attitude, focus, drive, hard work, ability, skill. This girl has it all. So if you never liked women's boxing before, I promise you she'll give you something to watch for this day. Before. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.